Happy Friday night, fellow comic book fans. Uh, this is the night that I review some comics from the previous Wednesday. What I'm going to do is one that I didn't like and the top three that I did. I'm going to do them separate uh, just so I can talk about each one individually. So what did I like? What did I not like? Stay tuned. All right, and I'm back for the last one tonight. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, the Immortal Hulk number 27. I love Al Ewing as Hulk. I haven't had this much fun with this series with the Hulk since John Burns run. John Burns. Peter Davids was pretty good. But I think this rivals those two. Uh, this one is pretty good. It's, it's it's more of an action thing. So there's three different sets of stories going on. Three different threads of the same story going on. In the same story which culminate. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. At one point, you have Banner slash the Hulk and his people talking about, okay, how do we get to this point? You have the Minotaur talking about his taking over the uh, Exxon or Roxxon or whatever, Roxxon company. And then you have the people at a place owned by Roxxon. <coughs> And boom, they all come together at the end with a good fight. And you know, Al Ewing is a badass. This guy is just, even on his weaker stories, which doesn't happen much, they're much better than many of the other stuff that's out there right now. And this was, this wasn't one of his greatest, it wasn't one of his weakest. It was pretty good. It was the middle of the road for him, which is still damn good. Uh, I have to tell you, this guy, this, this series is awesome. It is, of the few Marvel stuff that I read, it is the best one. And you really need to start getting it. I mean, it, it, it is a Hulk story, yes, but it is still a great story either way, even if you don't like the Hulk. Get it. Watch it. Read it. Involve it. Uh, it's just, it is so good. Uh, I'm going to give this a 4.25 out of 5 and just say, get the damn Hulk or he will smash you.